Ezekiel Manning, you get down from there. Zeke, honey, what were you doing? Man, I, I was watching the seconds tick by on that clock up there. Where you going tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, okay. tock. Uh, why? <laughs> man, because I've been waiting for Christmas to get here, man. It's taking four air. Well, buddy, it, it's only been two weeks we've been, you know, counting down. That's a long time. <laughs> Yeah, we're almost halfway done with our Christmas adventure. That's right. You Ooh, know, I think mean, it's candy time. I, I think it's candy, candy time. Here you go, Zeke. Oh, what are we gonna do with him? Oh, I love this candy. Oh, can I have some of your candy? No, it's fine. <laughs> mm, I love candy. So day eleven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So open your eleven. Well, maybe our Christmas adventure will help take Zeke's mind off of the waiting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. So, hey, you know that thing on the clock that keeps going back and forth? Yeah, that's that what thing I was you, watching. Yeah. Do you know what that's called? Do you guys know? No, it's called a pen... A pencil? No. A no. pentagon? Oh, a, a pen and teller? <laughs> Pinocchio? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Let me just tell you, okay? It's called a pendulum. A what? Oh, yeah, pendulum. I forgot. <laughs> Man, you said Pinocchio. <laughs> well, you know, Zeke, every time that I see a pendulum, it reminds me of the children of Israel. Man, does everything you say remind you of the Bible? Well, you know, I think about God a lot. I try to keep the Word of God, you know, in the front of my mind. Why? Isn't that kind of a strange thing to do? Well, you know, to most of the world, it is a strange thing to do. But I think back. Remember that question that Joshua asked yesterday in our Advent lesson? He told the people to, to choose this day who they're going to serve. But that's not like a butler serves people. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not like a butler. He meant to choose if you're going to follow God. When Moses told the people about the commandments of God, he told the people to teach them diligently to their children. Man, well, what does diligently mean? There you go using all them big words again. Well, you know, using big words is how you learn big words. Doing something diligently means that... Um, like you're showing a lot of care while you do it, and you know the work you're doing, you're you're working hard at it. That's kind of like these Advent lessons. You do them diligently because you care. But but that doesn't explain why why you think about the Bible all the time. Uh, don't don't you have a job? Well, yes, Zeke, I do have a job, but that doesn't mean I can't think about God even while I'm doing my job. So if I keep going in that part I was just talking about with Moses, he said that people need to teach their children diligently and talk about God when they're sitting in their houses, when they're walking down the road, when they lie down at night, and they wake up in the morning. Man, that's like all the time. Well, it makes sense because God's been helping us all the time. My heart's been beating from second one, but he makes it work. That's right. That's exactly right. And I teach Hope uh, this information about God because I pray that one day she'll teach it to my grandchildren. And, and they can teach it to your great-grandchildren. Mom, I'm eight. Why are you talking about having grandchildren? Well, not today, but someday. You know, if God gives you children, then I want you to teach them about Him. Let's change the subject. Yesterday, we were talking about Joshua. You said they were going to find out what happened when we turned the page. Oh, that's right. Yeah, man, I, I won't know what comes next. Let's flip the page and look at it. Well, let's see what happens on the next page. But first, a little quiz time. Do you know what book comes after Joshua? Oh, yeah, it's a, uh, let's say Genesis, Exodus, Exodus Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Joshua, Joshua judges. Oops. Judges! Judges! That's right. And do you know what a judge is? 
Oh yeah, he he's the one that comes in after they say, "All right, for the honorable <laughs> judge Dillard." Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That was one of the first videos we made in 2020. Oh yeah, judges they they like make up the laws and stuff, right? No no no, a judge doesn't make a law. A judge interprets the laws. So if someone breaks the law, the judge tells them what their punishment is, right? Yeah, they, they tell the people go to jail. <laughs> well, sometimes they do, but not always. And yesterday, we learned that Joshua, he asked the people to choose if they were going to serve God. Remember that? And all the people, they said, we're going to serve God. But then, you know what Joshua did? He took a great big stone and he wrote all the laws on that stone. He said that this stone is a witness. And against you, if you choose to stop serving God, then this stone will be your witness. Soon afterwards, Joshua, he died. How old was he when he died? Well, was he like uh, 120 like Moses? No, actually, he was only 110. Man, that's old. <laughs> the Bible says the people served God all the days of Joshua. But when we turn the page and we get to the book of Judges, in chapter 2, it says the people, they did evil things in the sight of God. Man, does that mean they broke the law? Well, apparently, according to this, they didn't even know the laws. Wait, they didn't even know the laws? Did, did they see the big old rock? Yeah. Well, here in Judges chapter 2, big two. verse 10, well, it says that after Joshua and his generation died, this is what it says. There arose another generation after them which knew not the Lord, nor the work which he had done for Israel. Now, no one told them about God. How did this happen? He did all these great miracles and no one told him? Apparently, no one knew about all these great miracles that we've learned about. Man, they, they didn't know about all those frogs and flies and the Nile River turning to blood. I can't believe no one ever told them the story. What about the Red Sea opening up and them walking across dry ground? Well, you know, it seems like they didn't know anything about God. And that is why looking at a pendulum reminds me of the book of Judges. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot about that pendulum. <laughs> Well, you see, the book of Judges talks about 14 different people who served as a judge for the Jewish people. Well, these judges, they ruled for about 300 years in all. And some of them, apparently, they knew God's laws and they chose to abide by them. But then some others would ignore God's laws. The whole book is a pattern where they lived sinfully and God would punish them. Then they would cry out to God and ask God to help them, and he would help them, and then life would be easy. But then they would forget all about it, and they would choose to live sinfully again, and then God would punish them. Well, so, so why would they go back and forth being punished, then being blessed, and punished, and blessed? And... Isn't that kind of dumb? It'd be a lot easier just to follow God and be blessed. Yes, you know, you would think so. But you got to understand, following God is not always easy or the popular thing to do. Following God often means that some people, they're not going to like you. But I would rather that God like me than having people like me. Yeah, I wish you could have both. Yeah, me too. Well, you know what? That's why it's important to choose friends that know about God and to teach the other friends that don't know about God. So uh, that's why you're teaching us in this Christmas adventure. Exactly. I want you guys to know all about God. I want everybody out there to know that God loves you. I want everybody to have a blessed life, not one that feels like you're on a pendulum going back and forth, constantly going between being punished and having to ask God to help. Mom, it's speaking of clock. Don't you think it's time to go? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess it is. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching this Christmas adventure as we study the true meaning of Christmas. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came to this earth as a baby. He lived here for 33 years. He lived a perfect life. He gave his life on the cross of Calvary so we could be saved. Three days later, he arose from the grave. He remained on this earth for 40 days before he went back into heaven. As he left in a cloud, angels told his disciples Jesus would return to earth one day. This season, as you look forward to celebrating Christmas, pay attention to the feeling of anticipation you feel. Remember the promise, He is coming again. This time, He will not come as a baby, but as a king. May the feeling of joy and anticipation of His second coming be even greater than Christmas. The King is coming!